Hey guys, what's up? Seven Stop here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite game. Favorite? COD Ghosts. Yeah. 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 That's how our videos always start. Like, <laughs> topic. Yeah. Only if it's an ironic topic or something. Yeah, only if it's ironic. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to be talking about COD Ghosts and why it's uh, bad. bad. And this is just going to be a rant. Uh, we're making this in 2020. I'm going to upload it in 2021. And I'm pretty sure that the situation with COD Ghost isn't going to change there, much. There is going to be one major change. Which there, is that no one's going to be playing gonna, it yeah, anymore. Instead of 425 people, there's just going to be 25 people. <laughs> yeah. But right now, you go on to COD Ghost and the numbers tell you all you need to know. If you go out on, on outside of like peak hours... You're going to see like 100, 200 people. The online. numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Well, Sometimes they mean more than 200 people. But yeah. The, 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 the numbers mean that, yeah, you're not going to be having this a good time. This game probably mm. hasn't had more than 1,000 players in years. I bet more people are playing MW2, and even those servers are freaking messed up and busted. Yeah. But, um... Uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about, uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about why it's bad and everything. Why it's so bad. It's flustered, rant, <laughs> well, right, rant, begin, let's begin First, wait, we'll, we'll talk about some good things. Okay, first, good things. Uh, class customization is decent. Yeah. Uh, some neat I ideas. mean, I think it's good, but it, the UI is very confusing, and it doesn't properly, uh, convey the information it needs to. There's way too many perks. These perks should have been, should have been, like, combined. rolled, rolled up, combined, yeah. But the the system they have to equip all these perks is pretty neat and interesting. Yeah. And I like that you can unlock guns with the points or whatever. It's kind of yeah. neat. Unlocking but classes I, is stupid. Cl yeah, unlocking classes. But I still think you earn the points uh, too slowly. Yeah, but um, yeah, but it's decent. And I actually do think there are quite a few good things. Like, again, like with those perks, but like choosing different perks and points and stuff like that is pretty neat. But the biggest issue is... <laughs> Since there are so many perks, you like sometimes like you just equip a bunch of perks and you don't even know like what effect they have. Like <laughs> yeah. Modern Warfare Two or COD Four or any. Like other I don't want to read sixty paragraphs yeah. to understand the perk customization system in COD Ghost. Yeah, like, I just want to put on some perks and play the video game. Yeah, like in MW Two, if I found a, if I if I just put on some random perks and I was like, yeah, yeah, these names are kind of like lightweight, bam, whatever, put that on, I would immediately notice. Oh, there's a difference. Whereas in COD Ghost, it's just kind of like, wait, did I? Sprint out fifteen percent. Unless faster. it's one of the later perks, yeah. the ones at the end. Yeah, but that's the that's the only like that. This Costco stages is still pretty good, and you unlock attachments whenever you want. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, challenges thank goodness. Are of course, that results in our favorite thing: everyone unlocking the thermal site first. Yes, but we're in positives. Um, some of the maps aren't bad. Yeah, <laughs> if you can take that as a positive. Some of the maps aren't bad. If you they're take not that as good, a but they aren't bad. No. Like strike zone. Strike Zone, it's Black Zone. A decent, mediocre map. Uh, same thing with, I think, Freight, decent, mediocre. Um, There's honestly, Stonehaven, one of the better maps in the game. Definitely not good, but one of the better maps. If you're sniping. Yeah. Yeah, if you're like. Even if around. you're not, though, it's still better than the disaster that is some of these maps. Yeah, but yeah, the maps are. They're, they're not. There are some. All right, let's get into the negative. But wait, we gotta oh. say this one more time. Well, well, not one more time. There's still one more positive, and that's like weapons are neat. There are a lot of good weapons. Mm -hmm. the weapons are actually kind of neat and stuff. And like most COD games now, like you have like oh, yeah, 15 there's... assault rifles, three SMGs, three LMGs, two <laughs> two pistols. There's lots of guns. Lots of guns. But yeah, there's and plenty of guns. So decent amount of content. Yeah, in terms it's, of maps it's and stuff. Pretty epic. But now we're moving on to the uh, yeah non epic stuff. So that mm -hmm. was the positive. Wait, so was uh, like... first we should clarify we're playing the 360 version backwards compatible on Xbox One. So if some of the issues are weird or like lag or something that might just because we're playing 360 version yeah but that's the games i'm sure it's still garbage on xbox one yep all right well first what we have is uh, i don't even know where to begin let's just uh, maps maps trash lots of them yeah lots of chasm do you think people complain people complain that modern warfare had too many lines of sight have you played the map Chasm in Call of Duty Ghosts? <laughs> Chasm has it's like one of the worst maps. lines of sights and and like three levels on like a massive battlefield. Yeah. Map. Like it's basically if you just took a map it, like a conquest map and just you slapped took, it in. You took the size of a conquest map from Battlefield and then you just just you went into your asset library and you just took a bunch of random assets and you threw plopped them, them on the you map. plopped them on the map. What does no regard for design. 
and you just and then you like took like you man, copied it and then you made another level of it. <laughs> you made another level. And then you copied it again. And, and you made another level. level. And then just to mix things up, you like in your in your modeling software, you took like the drill tool and you just drilled some random holes through, through the, the map. Maps. Yeah. Up, down, left, right, up, down, yeah. Left, in the middle. There you go! Map. Chasm! Chasm, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic map. Like Merc Music said in one of his videos, Infinity Lord was just like, big equals awesome. Let's do this. Yes. And then and then yeah, that that And no one liked Nobody them. liked them. Nope. Nobody <laughs> Not even a single person liked them, sadly. There's a reason that there's a Strike Zone 24-7 playlist. Yeah, Even though it's not populated, it's because no one wanted to play the other maps. Yeah, there's a reason why it's highlighted in yellow when you... <laughs> when you <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. the map Warhawk... Yeah. Warhawk, such an overrated map. People always vote for it. It, got, oh, yeah, it got put in Infinite Warfare, and I'm like, why you put anything for Kai Ghost in <laughs> yeah. Infinite Warfare? Oh, um, and, uh, yeah, oh yeah, let's talk about spawns. Yeah, spawns. So spawns are terrible. They're too sticky when they need, uh, when they're when when they shouldn't be, and they're too uh, floppy when they yeah. don't need to be floppy. So in a regular COD game, even without a UAV, you have you look at where your teammates are, and you you extrapolate an idea of where enemies will spawn. You'll you'll say they'll roughly spawn where my friendlies are. So you might head in that direction, anticipating the enemies. But in this game. In this game, there's there's uh, there's this huge map, or or sometimes a small map, depending on which one. There are a couple small maps, and half of the map is is being used, and the other half is completely empty. And all, mm -hmm. where your friendlies are is also where the enemies spawn. Yeah, if you want to find where the enemies spawn, just go ahead. And go, go where your friendlies are. Go where are. your friendlies are. Just go ahead and sit behind the back of someone, and someone's guaranteed yeah. to spawn behind them. And then, uh, yeah, you'll constantly get shot in the back because like. Because randomly, it'll just decide, oh, shoot, we need to flop the map. Even yeah. Though nothing happens, so they'll fl flip the spawns, and then the, you'll just get shot in the back. And that yeah. just constantly happens. You'll get shot in the back over and over, and, like, randomly, sometimes you'll just spawn in and run into an enemy three seconds after you spawn. And then other times, it'll take five minutes to run into somebody yeah. after you spawn. Like, the spawns are super inconsistent, and they're really bad. Um, and, yeah, the spawns are so sticky. Like, they... You can just be there was a, there was a, I don't have a clip of it uh, because I I didn't clip it I wanted to clip it but whatever uh, I was like doing really well with a sniper which is unusual for me I'm not a great sniper we'll talk about that actually that's a good thing about the game is sniping but um, I was sniping and I was kept killing these enemies they just there was this this hallway on the left side of Stonewaite Haven it's not really a hallway but this little area between two buildings you might know it and it's coming from a spawn. And I was just killing these people coming out of their spawn. And I was pushing up, but they kept spawning. Like, I just kept shooting them, and they kept spawning. And they kept shooting and spawning and shooting and spawning. And I was like, when are these spawns going to flip? When are the spawns going to flip? But they just kept coming they really until stopped. they killed me. Yeah, it was stupid. And um... the, the stickiness of these spawns is kind of like, I have some duct tape here. If I were to take this duct tape, and I, I put it on my nuts, and then I ripped it off... That would, that's what the stickiness of these spawns is like. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, those, those spawns are so sticky. And then another issue is uh, thermal sites are stupidly overpowered. All right, this is truly overpowered. Oh yeah, this okay? is... This is more than overpowered. This is this just, is like noob tube danger close in modern warfare it is two overpowered. So overpowered. You just put on a thermal site and you know where everyone is. Basically, you just mm -hmm. it was ads and like because it's the Xbox three hundred and sixty version and just because the maps are like just not really colorful or whatever. <laughs> like you, people. Oh yeah, just, you can't see anything. You can't see anything, so you just zoom in and like these kill cams are so like stupidly like they, the ttk is way too quick so you end up melting people with the thermal site and then mm -hmm. like you'll just die like that just happens a ghost you'll just die <laughs> you'll be walking and you won't see a soul you haven't heard a sound for like two minutes because your team has been wandering around not being able to find anyone and then you'll just die and, you just and, and the thing is you'll die in one frame but then you watch the kill cam and they like missed five shots and they like they shot some warning the they fired so some floating. warning shots yeah and Every kill cam in this game is a hilariosity. It is. Every kill cam is so stupidly funny and yeah. bad. It is. It's so bad. Oh, man, the it's... connection, complete garbage. I. This might be because 360 version. Also, the visuals and stuff. We couldn't. We can't see people well. That might be because of the 360 version. Um, but the connection is total garbage. The net code is awful. Yeah. You constantly. You constantly like shoot people and then you just instantly die even though you shot first. 
that's every if every I wanted a bad fight. net code, I'd go play Black Ops One. <laughs> yeah, like I don't want to play. I don't want bad net code in COD. Black Ops I mean. One is very clearly bad, but Call of Duty Ghosts is more like uh, sneakily bad. Yeah, like with the with the um, what's my call it? What are we talking? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, breakdown of your psyche. This is just God Ghost just melted me. It just, just yeah, it melted me, we were, just I, like I, the we people just, in COD Ghost get we melted. Were just playing, yeah, Black Ops One is not bad. We're talking about the um, network and the um, hit detection and stuff yeah. like that. But yeah, COD Ghost is just you'll just die and then like again like the kill cams are so stupidly funny. People camp constantly with silence like M twenty one or whatever that LMG is. Like they'll just camp with the. Uh, Hybrid thermal scope and just sit in random corners and then your screen's shaking. <laughs> yeah. Flinch. Oh yeah. Flinch is the most flinch yet. There's ever. so much flinch and some uh, some people or sorry, some maps randomly shake the screen like free fall and yeah. I think there's that it's other like, map uh, and you're like what is happening? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, sniping. That's this is a good thing. We'll say I think sniping is good because on some maps, depending on the map, you can actually snipe. Now your sniping may be undermined by the awful spawns and, and the it, fact that they are people are always spawning behind you when you're trying to snipe. And when you get hit once, that's it's basically like you're playing hard hard hardcore. Hardcore. You're playing hardcore. You just get shot once and then that's it. You're, you're yeah done. because of the flinch. Yeah, you'll get shot once. Your character's like ah and looks up into the sky as uh-huh. God shoots your nut shack off. And <laughs> yeah, and but then, the 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 sniping is fun when you can actually do it. And you can actually snipe. You don't have to quick scope to survive in this yeah. game. Yeah, we're talking about sniping, not quick not scoping. Quick scoping is different from sniping. All right, we're going to clarify that. But uh, uh, yeah, Stonehaven, nice map. For they sniping. added danger close as a. Oh part. yeah! Oh, my, oh my goodness, we'll talk about the explosives. They added danger close again, and explosives are almost as abusable as MW2. Yeah, they're, people they're not just as noticeable, but yeah, people that know what they're doing with these explosives can completely. Annihilate like they'll you. They'll get the cast set. Uh, they get the thumper, the and then thumper. they'll just whip it out and go boom, and, and they'll just then die. I don't think you've encountered this, Sam, but noob tubes. People can actually abuse those pretty. Yeah, I crazily. haven't encountered noob tubes or IEDs. Talk about that. Oh my goodness, place. IEDs! You just walk into a room and you die. Well, how do like, IEDs work though? Like to explain. They, it. Ju- they just kill you. I don't know what to say. You Are just, they like bouncing Betty's or? <laughs> yeah, they're bouncing Betty's, except they don't bounce. And no matter what you do, you're in the blast radius unless you oh just run gosh. far enough away. There's and you and they're super hard to see because of the issues with visibility. They're gray and, or maybe not gray. They're they're uh, brown, so they blend in perfectly with the environments. So you never see them, and they have a little light. But who's playing the game, scrutinizing every corner, looking for the tiniest light? No, <laughs> no one's doing that. No one's People want to have that. fun. I mean, I think they do, but. I don't. Oh gosh, with modern not and not on COD Ghosts maybe, but I I don't the at the end of the day I'm not gonna search every single wall for this little tiny light. Okay, so yeah. it happens a lot where you just walk into a room and you just explode, <laughs> and then it's a freaking IED. Yep, and um, also another thing is the um, sliding is useless. They, <laughs> yeah, no, sliding and like uh, leaning. Why? Like mm-hmm. they just added that because. More features. Ooh. Ooh, you can slide into the action with Call of Duty yeah. Ghosts, and you can lean. When the sliding, they might as well not have it. It's so bad. It's Unless so you bad. have a perk equipped. You slide like two inches. Be like, ah! and then yeah. it's like, and like and incre- there's just no reason to do it. It's like dolphin diving. <laughs> there's just no reason to do it. But at least dolphin diving on Black Ops One was looked actually neat and actually kind of worked. <laughs> yeah. But um, um, oh yeah, kill streaks. Uh, uh, Dog is way too overpowered in a sat comp. This is the biggest. Who? 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 Who thought this was a good idea? This is the biggest like. Who thought this was a good idea ever? Like, who thought it was a good idea? Idea to have a a UAV that you could place, and b you have to have another one in order for it to actually function like a UAV. Yeah, you might as well just put a piece of trash on the ground <laughs> when when the first one, um, and people can destroy them. So you almost never have a UAV. You almost never have a UAV in the game where it's incredibly hard to see people or find them. And, it takes and the spawns are awful. And you don't have a UAV. So that just makes the problem even worse. UAVs are basically non-existent. You uh-huh. can't like ever find a UAV. And it's the, so the boxes rare. are like massive. They're like they're not little small little little like boxes that you place on the ground. No, it's like a big like I took yeah. a cardboard box Dude, and slapped it on the ground. They should have made it as small as the IED and they should have made the IED as big as a SATCOM box, but exactly. it's the other way around. Yeah, on the SATCOM box, they basically just took a name and were ghosts, please destroy <laughs> me, bam, and slapped it on top. <laughs> 
Yeah. And it's just, oh my gosh, the streets. And then the dog, obviously, is mm-hmm. dog, dog, dogs. You the know streets, about the dogs. although outside of the dog, streaks are mostly pretty underpowered. Just, it's, yeah, you don't know. see them much. Yeah, streaks are pretty much kind of non-existent. I mean, they're obviously existent, but you just, you don't notice. Like, mm-hmm. you, when you die from an explosion from a streak, you're like, oh, I died from my ID, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ID is basically just a, a streak, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but you have it at the beginning, but uh, I don't know. Um, just, I don't have anything else. Oh, uh, I'm, it's Ken, uh, what Kemp strike? Uh, oh, yeah, field order. Field orders. orders. You could get a chem strike. I, I like field orders, all right? They're actually pretty neat, but I mean, some of them are stupid. Like, oh yeah, like either A, you have to get a three kill streak, or B, you teabag someone. Yeah. Like, imagine I got a chem strike for teabagging someone. Yeah, but, but they're still neat. I do actually like those within the match, and then when you die, you have to go pick it up again. But mm-hmm. the fact that it rewards you a chem strike sometimes, <laughs> that's just unfair. Like, I remember literally the first time I played, it was like, oh yeah, get two people with a pistol. I swapped out my pistol, got two kills, bam, chem strike. Yeah. I wasn't able to use it, but. Because the enemy team took it because the <laughs> spawns did. were stupid, but Yeah, the spawns still, are so bad. Still, that's what happened. and uh, I don't know. I don't have anything else. Is, uh, is there anything people else? are always spawning behind you. Like, you, yep. you spawn, and then there's always a guy behind you. Always. And as we said, the, the enemy spawn is always where your friendlies are. And yeah. it's always behind where your friendlies are. So you're, you guys, you move up, you, you kill some people, and then the spawns flip, or they don't. In this case of them flipping, then they're right behind you and they kill you and shoot you in the back. Or if they don't flip, you can just terrorize these people and spawn trap them. Yeah, this game was just a, like it was just oh yeah. Everything I got to talk about my favorite map, Stormfront. Oh baby, that map usually one of matches, the worst maps I've ever played. Usually matches don't go to the time limit. But in this game, that's normal. Yep, that's normal. Matches go to the time. And limit. in Stormfront, that's almost every match. Stormfront, you can't see anyone. Everyone is camping with thermal sights or sniping. No one moves. It's just a disaster. It's just a disaster. This game was just everything. They just all they just made every wrong decision. There <laughs> except is. for the the customization yeah, except and for the customization other and stuff. stuff. But with they the core gameplay, wrong. they just went wrong in every aspect. They just they they were unlucky. Well, yeah, maybe not unlucky, but still, they just made every wrong decision. <laughs> yeah. Was. But um, that's all I have. I don't mm-hmm, have much. Me too. Uh, well, yeah, if you liked it, if you like COD Ghosts, go ahead and uh, type a comment why, even though I don't understand why you would do yourself <laughs> like that. That's fine. I feel bad for anyone who likes that yeah. game. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you do actually like it and have some counterpoints, leave go it ahead, in the comments. Em. Go ahead and tell us. I mean, wrong. it won't make us enjoy the game more. We just don't enjoy the game. But, yeah. I mean, we might be able to see your side of the yeah, argument. Let us know that. Let us know if you did like, if you if you agree with us, why you agree with us, and everything like that. Some video ideas, comment that down below. If you liked it, like, subscribe, do all the YouTuber stuff, and uh, yeah, have a good one, guys. Bye.